Welcome to I Love Pharmacology. Today we are going to learn about sublingual route of drug administration. So coming to the sublingual route, sub means it is below or under, lingual means tongue. So the drug is placed below the tongue. Only the lipid soluble drugs and the non irritating drugs can be used for sublingual route. So, what are the advantages? We can remember the advantages as A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So, A stands for absorption is very rapid, B stands for it bypasses the liver, so there is no first pass metabolism, C stands for care, that is self care. So to administer sublingual drug, we do not require any assistant. So self-administration is possible. So D stands for desirable effect. Once the desirable effect is achieved, you can spit the remaining portion of the drug. So E stands for it is used in emergency conditions. Why? Why it is used in emergency conditions? Because it is fast acting. F stands for fast action. So G stands for it is an example that is glycerol trinitrate GTN for terminating angina pectoris. So this is the diagram which clearly explains how sublingual route of administration reaches the systemic circulation. So this is the tongue, this is the lingual vessel, this is the sublingual tablet. Once the sublingual tablet is placed below the tongue, the tablet undergoes disintegration to release the smaller particles. These smaller particles get into the lingual vessels and it is directly entering the systemic circulation through vena cava which reaches the heart and from heart it will be circulated to rest of the body. So here from the lingual vessel it directly goes to systemic circulation without going through the liver. So what are the examples for sublingual route of ex route of administration GTN that is glycerol trinitrate used in case of angina pectoris, buprenorphine is an opioid analgesic. Desamina oxytocin is used for induction of the labor. Thank you. Please like us and subscribe to Hilo Pharmacology.